Another day and yet another loss for Indian women in New Zealand. Mithali Raju's side succumbed to their fifth straight defeat of the tour after they were comprehensively beaten by the White Ferns at the John Davis Oval in Queenstown. In a rain curtailed encounter that effectively became a T20 game, the Indian bowlers were taken to the cleaners by the Kiwis and despite wicket keeper Bata Richa Ghosh's sensational half century, the fastest also by an Indian woman in the ODIs, India has lost the game by 63 runs. Check out how all of that happened. Having opted to bowl in a rain curtailed encounter, India didn't start well with the New Zealand openers putting together a 50 run partnership. It was a brilliant catch from the returning Smriti Mandana that got rid of the Kiwi captain Divine. Susie Bates made 41 of 26 balls before Richa Ghosh's smart work behind the stumps ended her stay. But Ami Sathawait never allowed the run rate to slide, smashing 32 of 16 balls. Even after Sathawait's dismissal, all-rounder Amelia Kerr kept going and brought up her 50 in the 19th over. Despite wickets at the other end, Kerr finished the innings in a high as New Zealand posted a mammoth 191 from their 20 overs. In reply, India lost the big hitting opener Shefali Verma and number three Yastika Bhatia for not inside the first two overs. Smriti Mandana, who was playing her first game of the tour, then pulled one straight to deep square leg and any hopes of an Indian victory vanished. But the talented Richa Ghosh did give the Indians something to write home about. The 18 year old played a spellbinding knock, recording the fastest ODI 50 by an Indian. She, along with skipper Mithali Raj, put on a 77 run stand, but Ghosh's it provided New Zealand the opening they needed. But despite a poor batting show, it is India's bowling that has been their biggest worry. Even captain Mitali Raj admitted their bowling has been a concern in this series, pointing out how the Indian bowlers are trying to adapt to the conditions but haven't been consistent enough. Bowling continues to be India's biggest worry. Time and again, the bowlers have leaked runs and even when the batters have put up a good total on the board, the bowlers have failed to defend it. India continue to be winless on the tour after five games and with World Cup only days away, losses one after the other don't bode well for their confidence. Mithali Raj's women are also unsure about their combinations till now. India made as many as five changes for the fourth ODI that included leaving out vice-captain Harman Preet Kaur and veteran bowler Juran Goswami. India are on the verge of being whitewashed. A loss in the fifth ODI would mean a first clean sweep in ODIs against India after a gap of almost four years, where they lost 0-3 to Australia at home. India, though, will be hoping that come Thursday they can register their first victory of the tour. Sports Bureau, India Today. Time for a quick commercial break, but coming up next, India Today's special show, Election Dispatch, with Preeti Chaudhary on the ground. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.